Hello guys and welcome to Blameless. I don't remember what this game is about, so we're actually just going to jump right in. I, I'm pretty sure it's like suspenseful horror or something like that. Freelance, so I take job offers as they arise. So, when this guy called me, I was relieved I could finally get a paying job. He said he needed help with interior design for his house that he was building. I always respected people who can do construction, so I naturally agreed to come and take a look. I already had a couple of ideas. It was already quite late, but he insisted on me coming over the same day. I tried to comply, because I didn't want to lose this offer. I drove there with my car. His house was all the way over in the suburban area, quite remote, but with other houses nearby, quiet place. The man met me at the front gate. It was a temporary fence, and the gate was made of rotting wooden planks. He started showing me around the yard. It seemed weird that there was a large garbage container blocking the way, so we had to go through the garage to get inside the house. He took me through the rooms, so I started looking around. At one point, I saw a stain, and at first glance it seemed like brick dust. But then I realized it was blood, spilled on the floor. I thought that maybe there was another worker who got injured, so I turned to tell the man. That's when I saw his hand raised to hit me. He was holding a metal rod. Before I could defend myself, he hit me in the head. I must have passed out. I don't know how long I was out. Long enough. Long when enough. I woke up. All right. Intense intros. That is a floor. And I take it that's the blood. Or that's my blood. That hurt. Yeah, this doesn't look like a house to me. Um. The. Not oh, what? Oh, that's legit. I didn't mean to do that. Where'd the phone go? My balls. This blood stain does not look like it's a result of a banal injury. It seems fresh. The blood hasn't. This looks like something was being dragged across the blood stain. No thanks. No thanks. Uh, can I get up? There we go. It's my phone. It's cracked. Okay. Uh, Yeah. Um. It's dark. I don't have a flashlight. I wish I had one though. What was that? You. Woo! Can't hit anybody with it though. I don't think anyway. Does anybody see a flashlight anywhere? Flashlight, flashlight, come out to play. I can't get further. There's no door handle. Try harder. No. You might be able to come in handy. Never mind. Um, I don't, I don't understand. What, what are we doing here? And why don't I have a flashlight? Oh. Am I supposed to be building something? What? This is intense, man. I don't know what's going on. Mm. Yeah, 
you guys know what's going on? Um, I, I don't... I'm, I'm, I don't know where the metal rod went that I was holding before. You over here? No. It said... The flashlight was F. But I don't have a flashlight, apparently. This sucks. Crouch. Crouch. Oh, I can see it a little better. Oh, 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 oh. There was the thing. There you are. Can I put you in that thing? No. How about you? Ball sack. I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. It's pretty sick how I can just walk through that. Really helpful. Um, yeah, so I've got this thing here. Metal rod and a, a vice clamp thing. So what do I do with it? I don't know how to... Why would he hit me and then lock me in here? Obviously he wants to kill you. Maybe eat you eat your liver or something. I don't know. Mm. Do I have to take my phone out? Use flashlight on it? No, because it's cracked. It's helpful. It's really helpful. I I, I don't know. I guess I'll be right back after I figure out what the heck to do. All right. So figured out what to do. I, uh, if you would pick up the, pick up the stick, cup, pick, it's not letting me pick up the stick. Well, I'm supposed to be picking up this stick, and it's starting, it's starting to get on my nerves. You might be able to get further through the attic. Yeah, maybe if you would pick up the freaking stick. Thank you. Sorry if I keep, like, randomly spin. Uh, for some reason... My, my mouse, like, even though I'm in-game, goes off to my other screen, and when I click, it qu quits out of my game. So, yeah, that happens often. You know, I don't really know why. Well, that's... That? that was probably a body being dragged. There we go. What was that? Never mind, just ignore that. Is that a wallet? Looks like a wallet to me. Uh, Helen? Helen Woodward. How did it get here? Um, probably because this is Helen's wallet. I'm just saying. Hey, what are you? A box of nuts? Hedge clippers? Alright. Uh, what am I doing with hedge clippers? Oh, and a crowbar. Don't know what it's doing in the ceiling, but I want it. So, am I doing something with these? No. Oh, there's another room. Um, I was holding with the wires. 
What does that even mean? Oh, those wires. I guess that's what the hedge clippers are for. The wire cutters are broken. The hinge on that handle should attach, but it's missing. No, it's okay. I got a bolt. Um. No. Bolt. Ha! Genius. We're figuring it out, guys. Is it just a two? I don't know if I want to be in here. Mm-mm. No thanks. Like I said, no thanks. He's probably noticed I'm gone by now. I don't want any... What am I supposed to be doing? Suspenseful music has creeped me out. When do I get a flashlight? This is a bad idea. This is a really bad idea. Is there a light in here somewhere? Please? Am I supposed to have a flashlight by now? Because I can't see a dang thing. Uh. Eh. No, what? Here we go. Okay. Uh, brightness. More. More. Okay. Yes, please. Thank you. That helps. Helps a whole lot. Okay. Of course, door closed behind me. Yeah. Okay. Okay, um. I don't want any. I, I do not want to have anything to do with anything that is going on in this dang place. But of course, I'm gonna have to because. Are going back through here. Yep. I don't want to go back. Thought so. You'd rather follow the flickery lights and closing doors. It's great. Yeah. Oh. Um. Out of the house. Yeah, but there's spotlights everywhere. I don't know if that's a good idea. I don't like the look of that dark corridor. Corridor. The light switch is working. What light switch? Oh, this light switch. That light switch. Where are the lights coming from? Oh, up there. Yeah, I'm totally not digging this. No. That's a dead body. It's mother flipping Helen. Shit. She's she's dead. Yep. She's been dead a while, man. Here we And I'm guessing those are keys to a car. Um. Yeah, I'm out of here. I'm outie. I am so outie.
Can I beat Audi? How do I get out of here? Eh. Um. Uh, ah, that's what I was looking for, this ladder. How do I pick it up? Oh, it's broke it. I can't read that. 13 July 2001. Subject. Final reminder letter. Dear Mr. Hopkin. This is to inform you that according to our records... As of 12 July 2001, we still haven't received back the scaffolding or the three suspension ladders you borrowed from... Okay. Well, um... That means there's more? This must be one of the three suspension ladders mentioned in the letter. But... It's sketchy, man. Yeah, no, that means there's another ladder somewhere. Can I open you? Guess not. Nothing in here. No. Okay. Well. Heck. Where's the other ladder? Probably inside, isn't it? Of course it is. This place is a freaking maze fortress. What the heck? More dark rooms. Yeah, this is a great idea. Nope. Totally. Nope. Mm-mm. You... Oh. Why is everything always locked? Good question. Why is everything always locked? I already asked that. That's not scary. My current question is, how the heck am I supposed to beat that off there? I need the hammer from the first thing, probably. I don't even know what I'm going in there for. I don't see anything in there that's useful. Mm. Do you work? Can I do anything on you? No. Nothing in here either. Um, you know, I'd totally be climbing over that garbage can right now if this were the real me. Flashlight? That's how this thing works? What the heck? Okay. Well. Hi, Helen. Oh yeah, I can't go back. What, what do I do? That doesn't open. Um, I think I needed that crowbar, but I don't know how to grab how there's blood on the phone. Ouch. Yeah, I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing. I think I messed up. Of course it is. Do I have keys? Ah! 
Thanks, Helen. That scared me a little. Okay. Uh, ha! Mm -mm, no, uh, run. Thank you. Yes, up the ladder, please. Hurry up. Up. Am I done? Holy heck, I'm not done! No, it, no. Get away from me. Mmm. Help! Okay, please. Wait, what for? I didn't do anything. But I didn't do anything. Okay. He was chasing me with a rod in his hand. He must have hidden when he saw the police cars pulling up to the gate. Mr. Malcolm, we searched the yard thoroughly and didn't find any evidence suggesting there was another man. No, 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 he was there. He was the owner who called me. The former owners sold the house due to personal financial problems two weeks ago. They moved to a different town on the other side of the country. The private company who owns it now proved all their employees were off-site, having a team building activity that night. How could you not find evidence of him? I'm telling you, he was there. I heard you. Our officers got a phone call from one of the neighbors reporting lights coming on in the house and suspicious person moving on site. They gave us your description. They never saw another man. Well, I didn't kill Helen. This doesn't make any sense. Let's I... cut the crap. What? It does make pretty clear sense to me. I have to say that I honestly don't believe any part of your bullshit story that you're giving me here. Everything suggests that you murdered that woman. No, I... You found the victim's blood on your clothes and your hands. You had the victim's wallet in your pocket. Wait. And the officers caught you fleeing the crime scene. You. No one else. Guess whose fingerprints match the ones we found on the victim's body? Huh? I was not expecting this. I don't know why you murdered that woman, but I'll guarantee you're never getting out. You're going down, Mr. Blameless. Okay, so I was not expecting that ending, that's for sure, but what I'm guessing happened is, uh, instead of him being called, it was the girl that was called there, and the guy has, like, the guy you played as has some type of mental disorder or something, you know, like schizophrenia, and he was following the woman, he ended up killing the woman, and for some reason thought he was the one being followed. I don't know, man. It's confusing me. That's how it all began for me. <sighs> far from over. Is there gonna be another one? Oh, sick, nasty. Um. Okay. Well, I guess that's it. Uh, <laughs> thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, leave a like. Uh. Feel free to leave comments. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. And uh, adios.